a time when we cannot afford the wheels of innovation to take a pause. This year, we will continue to develop new patent landscape reports and promote them. We will continue to accommodate requests for patent searches and promote patent information use and provide guidance through training. Currently, we are in coordination with the Department of Trade and Industry on uh, possible uh, PLRs, that, uh, especially from the industries. Protecting your IP rights and effectively managing your IP assets, which we at type of field will continue to help you in, will not only provide economic returns for today, but also for the future, as you can use the revenues you reap from your next projects on research for development. A more recent fit that can help rebolster innovation projects this year is our success in pushing the Board of Investments, also an attached agency of the DTI, to approve incentivizing IP-related activities, activities particularly in commercialization or commercializing uncommercialized IPs or patents, utility models, and industrial design, which have not gained economic returns are now recognized as innovation drivers under the 2020 Investment Priorities Plan. These activities, if approved by the Board of Investments, will enjoy income tax holiday and tax-free importation of equipment. This will increase technology transfer, spread socially relevant technologies to nooks and corners in the markets, where they can truly make an impact. Being uncommercialized doesn't always translate to being useless. The technologies may not just be reaching the right customers. Let us not lose hope in the technologies we have been gifted with today, but let's continue exploring the possibilities of tomorrow. That is why I highly encourage you to create new IPs, continue creating new IPs, and file for their protection. The Board of Investments will also grant the same incentives to its source with clustering certification of gold under ITSO 2.0 as innovation centers so that it will truly boost our innovation outputs and make the ITSO community a stronger environment for fostering innovation. I hope we will have a fruitful discussion today, and I hope we will gain one step further in our vision of seeing the academy build a robust and attractive Philippine innovation landscape with more IP assets of greater social impact. Maraming salamat po at magandang umaga po ulit. Thank you so much, um, DJ Baba, for your message. So, um, sinabi nga po ni, ni DJ, uh, malaki po yung inaasahan namin sa mga ITSOS uh, in the increase of the IP filings this year. As I mentioned by DJ po sa kanyang message, na naka-experience tayo ng downing filings last year. And so, we bank on the ITSOS to help us na increase po ulit yung ating mga IP filings. And that is the reason why we have this IP hand uh, session with DG to be able to discuss and talk among each other on how we can help each other increase the IP filing. Maibalik natin yung ating yung sigla ng IP environment as uh, mentioned by DG Barba. Thank you, thank you. Um, lady, proceed na ba tayo sa next? Uh, will you still entertain some uh, comments? Okay. Or, uh, lady? Um, will you be still entertaining some comments from the floor? Um, siguro ma'am, ma a little later, kung may ano pa po tayo, may, may time po. Okay. Um, so um, now, uh, as I mentioned po kanina, let's proceed po dun sa next part ng ating program po, um, yung recognition ng ating ibang mga ITSOs na despite the 
the it's a clustering schemes um, na, na temporary na suspend po siya last year and despite the challenges po na we all faced due to the pandemic they were still able to deliver the requirements of the clustering um disclaimer and we would like to emphasize po na this is a based po doon sa mga accomplishment po na nasubmit ng mga itsos on time um ulitin ko po yung type na word yung phrase na yon this is based on the uh, accomplishments submitted to the account managers on time po so, submit. um <laughs> so uh, again this year as mentioned this, uh, we hope sa submit <laughs> sige lang sir Jerry so uh, i hope na this year maging ano po tayo sa pagsubmit ng ating mga ISO accomplishments um kasi nga uh, fully implemented na po yung ISO Uh, 2.0 and so that we can also properly um, recognize din naman yung mga Uh, so, uh, at yes. uh, that this is not a clustering. Hindi ito yung award for the, the clustering. Uh. This yes, is yes, just so a recognition. Recognition lang siya. Mga, yes. oh, right. Wala po tayo yung clustering. So this yes, is just yes. a recognition. So thank you for that um, um, clarification, lady. So again, um, ano lang po ito? So, uh, we, we would like just to we acknowledge lang yung efforts na ginawa ng mga universities na to. Um, the, the, uh, despite the, of the pandemic. Yeah. Recognition for what they have done last year uh, din yes. despite the pandemic. Yes, sir. So, again, um, so we actually have uh, three ITSOs who have drafted and filed uh, at least six invention patents. Okay. Um, which are, ito yung requirements po sa gold. Um, so, let's proceed na with the um, acknowledgement ng mga ITSOs po na yun. So yung first po na, this is in alphabetical order po ah. So ang first po na i-recognize natin dun sa kanila mga activities na ginawa last year is the Cavite State University. So I believe the Dr. Ted Depora is uh, with us uh, today. So basahin ko lang po yung sinasabi ng certificate. Na this certificate, congratulations! Congratulations uh, sa Dr. Dr. Ted. So this is Six uh, invention patents. This certificate is presented to the Cavite State University who despite um, the oh, onslaught of the COVID-19 pandemic and the temporary listing of the ISO 2.0 clustering scheme has drafted and filed six invention patents in the year 2020. Uh, drafting and filing of at least six invention patent applications in a year is a requirement for gold cluster under the ISO 2.0 program. So this is signed by our Director General, Attorney Ruel S. Barba. So congratulations, Cavite State congratulations. University. Congratulations. Uh, Ted, <coughs> Mora, um, for um, at least nagawa kahit despite of the pandemic, nakafile po kayo ng six patent applications. Okay. Congratulations, Cavs to... Congratulations, Cavite State University. So the next um, university that we will be recognizing Congrats, Dr. Ted. is um, the Eastern Visayas State University. I'm not sure kung nandito si Sir um, um, from the EBSU. Ah, andyan pala si Ma'am Wendy. Congrats, uh, Wendy. EBSU. Yes, uh, congratulations, EBSU. Um, the same certificate po um, uh, ibinibigay po natin sa Eastern Visayas State University. Same text excerpt ang um, sinasabi po sa certificate. Pero yung EBSU po was able to draft and file 10 invention patents po. So, pasok po sila sa gold cluster. So, congratulations, uh, EBSU. Congratulations, uh, sir. To, to and Indian, to Dr. Aguirre uh, also. Oh. Yes po. Congratulations, hey. EBSU. Ang next po na bibigyan natin ng recognition um, for uh, achieving na rin, parang nakuha din nila yung gold cluster Um, they actually filed a seven invention patent. Is it's the University of Southeastern Philippines? So congratulations, you say hello. Congratulations, po, University of Southeastern Philippines. So what? Dito ba sila, sir? So again, uh, congratulations. Congratulations, sir. Engineer Filman. Ah, nakita mo nga si Sir Filman. Congratulations, Sir Filman. So those are uh, yung three po natin na itsos na so far na last year based on their accomplishment na na submit uh, was able to file um, six invention patent um, which uh, ibig sabihin na karich sila ng gold. Alam niya naman po yung uh, criteria pa na bago sila makarich ng gold di ba under the ISO 2.0. So now 
let's proceed po dun sa other three ITSOs na nag, um, nag-draft po ng at least uh, seven invention patents. Pero meron din silang um, successful na commercialization activities. So they were able to successfully commercialize their technology. So meron din silang... Again, I uh, would like to emphasize that this is a recognition, uh, recognition of the efforts made by the ITSOs last year. Uh, this is still not yet a clustering award. Okay, po. So um, the following ITSOs that I will be mentioning, um, nasa platinum po sila na cluster. Kung sakali, kung yung last year, yeah. yung mga activities na Congratulations, Karaga yes. and Engineer Diliosa. Yes po. So yung first po dyan, nandyan na po, nakita nyo na sa screen, um, it's also in alphabetical order. So the first is Karaga State University. So Sir Jeff, congratulations. Uh, basahin ko lang po yung sinasabi ng certificate. Uh, certificate of recognition. This certificate is presented to Cavite State University, who despite the onslaught of the COVID-19 pandemic and temporary lifting of the ISO 2.0 clustering scheme, has drafted and filed eight invention patents and successfully commercialized its integrated campus enrollment, ICE system, and financial automation resource management system. So, commercialization... Indo, incorrect at, natin lang ha. It's Caraga State University. Caraga. Ay, Caraga State University. Thank you, sir. So, uh, commercialization of IT is a requirement for platinum cluster under the ISO 2.0 program. Congratulations. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sir Jeff, we expect that this year you're going to be able to do it. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's have coffee later, Sir Jeffrey. Go for platinum again, Sir Jeff. Salamat po. Salamat po, Ma'am Mike. Salamat po. Salamat po, Ma'am Mike. 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 Thank you. Thank you, Sir Jeff. Thank you. So, next po, nabibigyan natin ng recognition sa platinum po na cluster ng ITSO 2.0 is the Central Mindanao University. Yes. Congratulations, CMU. Si Doc Bell. Yes, congrats. So they were able to manage to draft Thank you. Thank you. 14 invention patents and successfully commercialize yung copyright materials nila through their exchange. So, Ma'am um, Demantes, congratulations to Sir Bell. Congratulations. Um, job uh, well done. Again, expect po namin na platinum ulit kayo this year. Congratulations, Dr. Semi. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you ma'am, and uh, congratulations once again, Central Mindanao University. So finally, we have our last university na bibigyan po natin ng recognition under the platinum. Um, yung last po na yan is the Samar State University. I believe nakita ko si ma'am Vivi dito. Ay, congratulations, Samar State. Congratulations, Samar State University. Was congratulations, ma'am Vivian. Yes, <laughs> they were actually oh, able to draft... Po and filed um, seven invention patent and was uh, success. Uh, Nakapag-commercialize po sila ng kanilang cocoa wine with honey through licensing with fixed royalty rates. So congratulations, Summer State University. Uh, Ma'am Vivian, salamat po. And uh, congratulations po, same year. Okay. And, uh, congratulations, everybody. Ma'am Vivian, na this year, platinum po ulit. So hindi na kayo bababa. <laughs> Wala pong pressure doon. So, no pressure, no? No pressure. <laughs> so again, those po ay some of the ITSOs lang po na nabigyan po natin ng recognitions. Although we acknowledge na meron po pang mga ibang ITSOs na uh, we're able to also do. Siguro na late lang po yung submission. So that is why we encourage you po this year to please submit your mga accomplishments po natin on time para ma-aware, mabigyan po natin agad ng, ng ganang na recognition agad po yung inyong mga universities. Okay po, yun po yung request ng mga ITSO managers or account managers po sa inyong lahat. So we look forward po na magawa po natin yan this year kasi nga, this year, ito na po talaga yung full implementation ng ITSO 2.0. Yes. Okay po. So um, with that, I think we come to the closing program, uh, closing part of our cap In the announcement pa ko. Ay, yes ma'am, ma'am Ichi. Sige pa. 
Sandali. Uh, so, um, again, uh, good, uh, good morning to everybody. Meron lang tayong uh, isa pang uh, announcement. No? Um, the ASEAN uh, Secretariat has uh, given us, provided us copies of these handbooks. No, which will help you also in, in commercialization. Uh, medyo kinakain yata ng... Patayin ko muna yung aking digital background, ha? Sandali lang po. Um, okay. Ayan. Para makita ninyo. These handbooks, uh, handbook on, I, on IP commercialization, strategies for managing IPRs and maximizing value, and a uh, business guide to IP institutions, laws, and filing processes in ANZFTA parties. No? So these handbooks, uh, we requested extra copies so that we can provide all our ITSO 2.0 uh, network members with, with, with the copies. So please coordinate with your uh, ITSO TTD managers, your ITSO um, handlers, no? in order for you to get a copy uh, of each of these uh, handbooks, which will help you in your IP commercialization. So that's that's another benefit of being with the ITSO network. Um, so hopefully these materials will help you uh, see through your IP management uh, within your network. And, um, you know, as, as we grow in the ITSO network, kasama po yan sa ating capacity building. So Thank you very much, and please do await your copies. Uh, coordinate with your ITSA managers for that. And we would like to thank uh, Attorney Christine Tanlapan of the BLA, who is our focal point for the ASEAN, uh, for um, you know making this happen for us. Uh, she, she was very uh, attend attendant to our request for copies, for extra copies for the ITSA network. So that that's for you, po. Maraming salamat. Ma'am, is she free naman po siya, di ba po? <laughs> Ikaw ang i-charge ko din do para sa <laughs> May question kasi mo sa... kung free daw po. It's free po. It's free. Oh, libre po para sa mga ITSO. Uh, maraming salamat sa ASEC, uh, ASEAN SEC uh, for sending this to us. Um, pero si Dindo ang magbabayad para sa ito. Huwag <laughs> <laughs> naman po. <laughs> Nang okay. trabaho. Si Dindo na trabaho. Thank you, Mami Chi. Thank you for that announcement. Um, so uh, again, congrats to Pozo and sa lahat po na nabigyan natin ng recognition. Uh, and I hope this year we can all deliver the requirements of the ITSO 2.0. Um, can we expect proof from the ITSOs na we, can, we go for platinum this year? Yung mga gusto? And uh, like again, um, sabi nga ni DG Barba, hindi naman po namin kayo pababayahan. So we will be uh, with you. Um, let's go for the platinum this year. Kayang-kaya po natin yan. Okay po, sana ma, ma, may bigay po natin yung commitment natin na yun na mag, may bigay natin lahat for the ISO 2.0. Um, may pangako natin, nandito pa naman si DG na may bigay natin lahat and rest assured na ang IPOFIL will also do its best to help you na mag-function as an ISO. Okay po? Sige. So now, um, I think um, nasa ano na nga po tayo, uh, ating end uh, part ng ating program. Um, so before we end uh, yung ating short but brief and hopefully sweet na kaipihan um, with our ITSOs. Um, and si DGG Ted Pasqua po um, would be giving his closing message on DGG Pasqua. Hindi na po po si sir. Ah, Okay. So while waiting po for Kaiser uh, DDG, um, once again, um, I hope po, uh, pasensya na po po kung hindi po lahat ng mga na-comment ninyo ay na-discuss po natin today. Like, um, pero sinabi naman po namin kanina na lahat po yan, ay, we will dwell on this, we will deal with uh, all those concerns. And hopefully, yung mga mechanisms and tools na na-mention na po And we encourage na i-comment nila. Lahat yes, yes. Type sa yes. chat box lahat ng kanilang concerns para ma-take note natin. Yeah. So, I think uh, DDG Pasqua is already present. Hi, sir. Good morning. 
Oh, lagari lagari yan si DDT <laughs> galing sa APEC. <laughs> Thank you sir. Thank you DDG Pasqua for uh, joining us. Okay. <clears throat> How is everyone? Uh, oh, we're fine sir. We're very good actually. Um, excited kami sir na marinig yung inyong message. <laughs> Well, we're closing this very <laughs> short uh, meeting. Every time we meet together, it's always uh, 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 an exhilarating experience because we see what's happening all over the country, not only here in the central office. No? And it will be almost already a year, perhaps in a month's time, when uh, our president uh, declared the entire country in quarantine, I recall it's uh, ECQ at that time. And during that time, I also recall that uh, IPOFIL was conducting a training for IPSOS here in the central office, was it not? And we had to cut short to avoid the IPSOS, all of you uh, getting stranded. Uh, <clears throat> we, we had to settle even uh, some matters about our food when we were expecting a longer period of our meeting when, uh, in fact, we had to abbreviate it and cut it short. Wala naman pong report sa amin na may nastranded sa inyo. And we hope and we know that everyone was well and able to return to their stations eventually. Then we were locked inside our homes for quite some time. I hope all of you enjoyed being locked down in your homes. For myself, I did. I was even very happy that I could see my two sons when prior to COVID, I had to strain cutting time and seeing them in their uh, uh, temporary residences near their schools. We experienced what probably even our parents had not experienced. Well, they had their wars, but we had our different war. We were probably apprehensive and fearful of our future then, not knowing what would happen next. Then there was what came to be lack of PPEs, uh, masks, and everything that needed to keep us safe. I remember even my daughter who was uh, then a second year medical resident in a hospital uh, had to wear, we had to buy disposable raincoats as her PPE. How crude we were before. This was when the high, higher education institutions, mostly our uh, uh, ITSOS, had to respond to them. They pivoted and provided the needed supplies. I know and I've seen even our DG still working with DTI, who really scrambled to have our country be supplied with the adequate and appropriate PPEs. All the things that we remember may be too long for me to mention here. Baka mamaya ako lang pala ang nandito sa meeting na ito. Iniwanan nyo na ako. This shows how our ITSOs are fast, quite fast, in innovating to address the needs of our situation. And IPOFIL believes that the ITSOS are really important, a vital component in providing the country with innovative solutions, be there be a pandemic or none. As our DG had earlier said in his message, IPOFIL is proud that the ITSOS have contributed to the improved GII ranking of the country. And we attribute this to the huge chunk that each source contributed in local patent filings, especially our UMs then. I know how for a fact that despite the turnaround of our usual face-to-face -face encounters into virtual meetings and trainings, you, the ITSOS, our ITSOS, continued to deliver. I see many of you in the meetings that we have in our uh, enforcement gatherings. There may be some adjustments that all of us had to undergo. In fact, there were. But 
the Filipino people, as usual, being resilient and all, survived, evolved, adjusted, and we thrive. The three ITSOs which satisfied the platinum cluster requirement and another three ITSOs that satisfied the gold cluster requirement are proofs that despite our announcement to suspend the implementation of ITSO 2.0 clustering scheme, these ITSOs continued to deliver. Kudos and congratulations to all of you. I know that there are other ITSOs that performed and we know that soon all of you will be included in at least one cluster, the bronze cluster. Although bronze may sound at the very, uh, at the starting point, let us not consider it as a lowly class. I recall when I was still in my former agency, when the Philippines returned to the ASEAN skills competition after a hiatus of seven years, we won again our first and only medal, a bronze medal. And when we came back to the country, it was as if we won the gold. This is the reason we use the term cluster instead of level. Bronze also has its impact as the multiplier effect of IP trainings conducted in and by the higher educational institutions will surely have an impact on the thinking of its students and faculty, thousands at that, becoming a very critical partner of IPOFIL in delivering its mandate on public information, dissemination, and its campaigns. Last night, during our meeting with the uh, intellectual property attorneys of the Philippines, they emphasized that they would like to see IP awareness increase in its uh, magnitude despite COVID because it is in that they see that we can survive for innovation and creativity to grow even in such adverse conditions. Meetings such as this one are meant and designed so that IPOFIL can be provided with more insights on how we can make things better. That is such a cliche, but such full of meaning. How to make things better. All of you have an open line. Maski minsan mabagal ang signal at ikot lang ng ikot. You have your open line to IPOFIL, your account managers, and even from the DG up to all down to the last uh, official of IPOFIL. I believe that you used to call them nanay or tatay, denoting a closer relationship with them. We don't mind being called such. Ako kahit na lolo, payag na rin. Well, continue to have that great <laughs> long relationship. Oh, no, and soon all of us will be more proud of our accomplishments. I have kept this uh, uh, Latin a declaration to heart and I hope this is something that we leave as a legacy to you. It says in very short words, pro Deo et patria, for God and for country. Maraming salamat po. Thank you, thank you uh, DDG Pasqua for that very um, delightful message. Maraming maraming salamat po. Uh, so, lady, any other, ano, baka may announcement ka on your end before we officially end yung ating, ano? Uh, Ala, kinu-coordinate ko lang yung copy ng handbook. Lahat sila excited ng each sa copy ng handbook. And um, sabi ng ating EA ay lahat daw po kayo mabibigyan naman. Charge kay din daw. Kuntingin nyo lang po sa inyong mail. Uh, hard copy po ang ibibigay sa inyo. Okay. Ano rin deduction kay Dindo para madali? Yes po, yes po. Yeah, very good. Oh. <laughs> Bawa na. Bawa na. Dindo yung bonus mo. So, yes, yeah, kasi hindi ko namin update kung meron kayong update sa inyong address. Let's Malaki go. naman ang bonus yata ni Dindo sa so walang problema. Bawa na. Okay, rere, yung crush daw ni Sir Dindo kay Dr. FCY. <laughs> 
Pero um, bago <laughs> no, ma- ma- mawalan pa ako na naanong <laughs> uh, lady, um, yes, we still have about 15 minutes and our beloved Director General and Deputy Director General is still here with us. Yes, so we, um, we can give the floor to to some of our ITSOS as a response to, because uh, I see a lot of congratulations, I see a lot of thank you, no? uh, maybe they, they would like to have a response. Uh, maybe we can give the floor to uh, one from the gold cluster and one from the uh, platinum cluster for uh, yes, a response that's good. to DGRSB and uh, DDG Ted Pasquas messages um, while they're still with us. Yeah, okay, ma'am. So, anyone from the gold cluster? Na yes, Cavite State, uh, Yusef, yeah, Epsu. and Emsu. Sir Bernard. Oh, Doc. Sige, ko mga Tacloban, pamati anta. <laughs> Let's listen to Tacloban people. <laughs> Sir Bernard? Baka na Yes, ongoing po yung aming technology commercialization and mentorship series. Alam yun naman po doon sa ating project, but I would like to thank uh, Ipopril and uh, the rest of my co itsus here who really serve as an inspiration for all of us despite of the challenges uh, brought about uh, brought by this uh, pandemic uh, the the program on sustain uh, IPTBM or the intellectual property and technology business management program funded by the OS to serve as the driving force uh, para para makapag-file talaga kami at ma-commit ko yung aming mga technologies for filing because we also have a target doon sa program but I'm not expecting this uh, of course our focal person ma'am Aurelia go is really very consistent on the monitoring Pero hindi ko alam na talagang tinitingnan. Basta siya, uh, she always uh, keep in touch with all of us at always reminding us to submit all the documentary requirements that we need to to submit. Pero lagi naman tayong nagre-responde lagi kay ma'am kasi parang nanay namin yan eh. So talagang monitor niya kami from time to time. I'm very, uh, I'm really very thankful. At I would like to take this opportunity rin to thank uh, everyone at IPUPIL. Kasi po, ako ayata ang pinakamalimit magkaroon din ng problema sa mga online filing. But your, your staffs are very, very, very uh, willing to assist us. Hindi ako nagka-problema from BOT to... Lahat to trademarks, lahat po ng tao na lapitan ko ay napaka-accommodating. Isa ng example itong host na ito na kahit gabi, kahit anong oras, ginugulo ko yan. Pero hindi ako nakarinig ng kahit na anong reklamo, even beyond office hours. Ganun po ka-professional ang mga taga yes, pero i charge pa rin uh, <laughs> Maraming marami pong salamat talaga kasi kung hindi doon sa willingness doon sa professionalism na pinakita, baka hindi namin nagawa yung mga filings namin. Kasi siyempre, noong pandemic, nangangarag ka, wala yung stop mo, uh, nagtatrabaho ka lang sa bahay, uh, ang kailangan mo lang kontakin yung mga tao sa IPUPIL na kahit midnight, sasagutin ka. Para lang i-direct ka doon sa tama. So maraming maraming, po, plus the intelligence. So, andun sa level na napakataas talaga ng professionalism and then the intelligence, hindi mo mawari. Tapos yung, yung willingness nila to share the knowledge. Uh, maraming marami pong salamat sa inyo kasi that keeps us on going through these uh, challenges at ma-achieve pa namin yung mga dapat naming ma-achieve. Actually, we are targeting the platinum this year. 
through the funds that we get also from the OST. So lahat na yan ng collaborations ay pinagsasama-sama na namin para lumakas ang puwersa nung aming ITSU. At alam naman po yan ni Sir Adrian. So we already conducted some policy reviews uh, with the help of the technical people of IPOPEL, of course, with Sir Adrian Lady and uh, Sir Dindo. And we will be moving on dito po sa aming mga proyekto para maitaguyod namin ang mga, mga kailangan naming mga proyekto sa ITSU. Maraming maraming at, uh, salamat, Attorney Itchy. Sana in the near future magkaroon ulit tayo ng General Assembly na face-to-face -face para magkita-kita po tayo ulit. Maraming salamat po from Cavite State University. Thank you, Dr. Ted. Thank you, Dr. Ted. Okay. Salamat. Maraming maraming salamat, Dr. Ted. Um, congratulations, so, Ia. Yeah, congratulations din, Ma'am Ia. And uh, isa na from Platinum, sir, no? So, kasi 10 for 15. Yes. I think si Sir Jeff. Diliosa? Yeah. If pwede kayong magsalita, okay. sir. Hello, Meg. Uh, Dindo. Hi. Uh, Hello, Dindo. Dindo. Uh, Meg and uh, CMU. Hi, Hello, Hi, Sir Dindo. 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 Hi, Sir very happy to see everyone here. Uh, we are gathered despite the pandemic. Now at least, meron tayong virtual meeting na ganito. I, I, I think in behalf of all the ITSO managers present here today, Sir Ruel and IPOFIL team, I think we are, can say we are happy to have this kind of dialogue, yung kaipihan natin this morning. And I, I think um, before going to the recognition, I think uh, this is a good thing for us to do in a... A regular basis. I don't know if this is gonna be a quarterly or semi-annual uh, discussions between uh, IPOFIL and the ITSO managers. And I think this is highly appreciated. And we've been receiving a lot of uh, parang mga incentives no? or mga benefits actually the SUCs or the universities around the ITSO network. So uh, thank you very much once again, Sir Ruel, for this um, and the IPOFIL team for uh, conducting this event. And um, I think I would like also to say that um, we would thank you for the recognition uh, highlighted here. Um, I have to be honest, um, when we heard about this clustering, um, it's kind of posed a lot of challenges in terms of can we meet these uh, requirements, can we meet this, uh, all these requirements being given to us. Um, when before that was even before the pandemic, no, and uh, well, I think uh, it's safe to say there were a lot of questions uh, about this, and um, I think uh, it's so uh, we have our own like respective discussions about uh, is this doable or not, and um, yeah, that was before 2020, and no, when we have the meeting and regarding this clustering, and um, I, I think. Uh, what we can for us no? so in our side um, siguro, uh, um, siguro with uh, its managers around here uh, siguro what we can do is give our best, our very best uh, kung hanggang saan lang tayo then that's it, then we've tried really our best no? so to meet it there kasi uh, we know that uh, I, I can simply say that it's so offices also in the country have limited budget so I have to be very transparent as well uh, being uh, especially one of the SUCs being present here. Now, so there's a balancing act between uh, delivering the requirements and all these um, um, uh, things that we need to deliver. No? But uh, I think uh, with this recognition given to some of the universities, I think uh, this is going to be doable. Um, I think um, I think for one, uh, I think uh, the main thing that I can share, I think, is the support of the top administration because they're going to like help us spend on the things that we need to run the program uh, if we don't have like projects with the DOSD. Because we know the people who are together here and I think these guys are involved in the different DOSD P-Shared or DOSD P-Card projects that enabled us to kind of deliver those requirements. And I, I think uh, we cannot do this uh, alone. No? So um, with the IPOPIS, uh, IPOPIS feels huge help. No? So uh, I think 
we can say thank you very much to our Nanay, Nanay Meg. I have to highlight this because if you take note of the three winner, three Congrats, Meg. to Platinum Mameg, I think five of, out of the six comes from the Visayas Mindanao. Yes, thank uh, you, Sir Jeff. Galing nyo kasi. <laughs> so, yeah, iray ko pala yung sinabi kanina ni Sir Ted. No? So, I, we've been very thankful, I think, no, for the help of the I feel kasi uh, even <laughs> pag may kailangan Saturday, Sundays, pag may email. Minsan, nga totoo yun, pag gabi, nag-email alas 11 ng gabi para hindi makalimutan to yung umaga. Nagre-reply ka agad si Mamek. Uy, gising pa pala. Ayaw ko na nagdaga ng reply kasi baka hanggang umagahin kami mag-discuss. Mm -hmm. So, totoo yun. No? I think uh, most of the universities here have sought help mm -hmm. for their nice no? are really um, provided with all the necessary um, ano, even yung mga updates, updates regarding the application. So we, we are very much thankful no, in terms of the support that we get from the IPO field. So nakakamiss nga lang na medyo matagal na kami hindi nakapunta dyan sa, sa IPO field. Namimiss na namin yung mga tawanan kasi we grow from the ITSO. No? ITSO network when we started joining the ITSO. And look at us now, uh, seven years, ten years. Uh, there are many people who are ahead of us here. And we, still, we are still here. Um, bande, bande. <laughs> Parang meron pa rin dyan. So we have a lot of experience that we can like remember now for the past. I think for me, I started in 2015. No? So as an ITSO manager. No? So I have a lot of memories uh, to working together with IPUFIL and uh, ITSO managers uh, during this journey. So uh, in summary, maraming salamat po. Uh, we hope to have this conversation um, continuing on uh, in the next few months and for the recognition, maraming salamat po sirs and ma'am sa Ipufil and thank you. for all our uh, it's a fellow, it's a managers here thank you thank, thank you so much and congratulations again um uh, on behalf of the ITSO network, on behalf of the Tech Trans Division, uh, Division Chief Amelu Lim and Assistant mm -hmm. Division Chief Adrian Sablan, uh, we'd like to thank our uh, big boss, uh, Director General Roel S. Barba. It is actually uh, ITSOS, please know, it is actually our Director General's idea. This is his brainchild to reach out to all of you. So thank you very much for joining us today and uh, speak, having this Kaipihan conversation with the Director General of the Intellectual Property Office of the Philippines. One it's so, uh, one Philippines, one it's so. It's so great to be here. So thank you very much, and we hope to see all of you. Sana face to face na mawala na sana itong pandemya na to. Uh, but while we're here, we're in it together. Sabi nga. So let's reach for the platinum for this year. Uh, let's reach for the stars. Thank you very much. So, Dindo. Yes, uh, thank ka you. Hindi na ma'am. Sili din po yun. Okay, okay. DG, thank you po. Thank you, DG Barba. Thank you, DG. Thank you, DG Barba. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Keep safe po. Keep safe. Everybody. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you po. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Po. Thank you, everyone. Salamat kayo kanin yung tanan. Thank you. Hope to see you soon. Dito yung si Sir Dindo, ha, yung sponsorship niya. Ay, oh, why sa payo? Ako yung nakirimay doon niya. Ma'am Agnes, hello, dear air. Hi, Mr. Adrian. Maka-visit kami di ha, sunod po ho. Yes. Pag-awala na ni si COVID. Pag-awala sa po niya, ma'am, ha? Dito. Mag-open na niya sa when we launch our welcome. Sige, sige, ma'am. Sige, sige. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Ma'am Lady. Hello, ma'am. Hello. Hello! Kita tayo next week! Hi, Pa! Yes, hello! Salamat! Salamat! Thank you, IT. Medyo may lang po. Sir Dindo, maraming salamat. Welcome po. Thank you rin po. Mameg, maraming salamat ulit. Come on, thank you very much. You're always welcome, Sir Jeff. Congrats again. Yeah.
Pahongkong ka naman, Mameg. Dami mo <laughs> ano, baby. Alin, Sir baby, Jeff? Baby, ulit. Dapat <laughs> pala si Meg ang sisingilin, no, Sir Jeff? Si Meg yes, ma'am. Dapat ang singilin. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Kayang-kaya ni Sir Jeff, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Bye, Sir Jeff. Thank Bye. you. Thank you. Thank you again, ma'am. Bye. Bye.